Hello, it's Salim again. These curious historians in England seem to be multi-skilled. Witness the comment of one of them about an awful crime in Croydon. The final explanation if we rule out racial or social aspects it's that it is. Probably that some biological factor is at play. I've explained before that black children go through puberty roughly a year earlier than white kids and this means that the raging hormone storm strikes them while they are still very young that sudden surge of hormones combined with the fact that young black males tend to have a higher level of circulating testosterone in their bodies might be quite enough often by itself to account for the murderous violence. These are the comments of Mr. Simon Webb on History Debunked. It is truly encouraging to encounter such a polymath who is not only a historian but a biologist of note who can explain such things to us. This commentator also appears to be an expert in literature. A true Renaissance man. Adolescents are of course famous for taking romances more seriously than Older people one need only look at Romeo and Juliet she was only 13 at the time of the drama and Romeo was the same age as the boy who was arrested yesterday. I recommend from this point on that the police should carry editions of the complete works of Shakespeare. As Rome and Juliet is modeled on a tale by Bondello it would seem wise to equip all policemen with a kinder e-reader or similar device with an extensive library of literature. Simon Webb's famous discussion upon biological inheritance in it should be included as an essential.